link uh, silo and bag silo and it can be a little bit more difficult than working with a bunker or a pile or even a traditional upright where typically enough feed is defaced or, or brought out through the day but with bags we move through so much depth in a day again it can be pretty difficult to adequately sample. I'm not going to advise going along the bag and pouring in. Again we don't want to compromise the anaerobic nature of the bag. I know some will do pours and then tape those back up, that might be an option, but again, I'm just going to talk about how to get an, an accurate sample or a representative sample from what we can get access here today. I'm going to, again, make sure we've got, I think, maybe a 14-foot wide bag. We're going to get a minimum of five subsamples from our bag. And again, do the best we can to dig in a foot or two, but understanding we're not going to be able to accurately represent the entire length of that bag, because as we go through, the fields are going to be different, the moisture is going to be different. So in, in bag circumstances, I also think it's a good idea to be sampling from trucks or wagons as they're coming in to fill the bag, to have some idea of what's within the bag and then mark that on the side of the bag. That's probably a good idea, again, to understand what the variability is going to be. Moisture monitoring or dry matter monitoring, uh, again, is going to be done on the farm level as we move through and work with the bag. Ideally, we would look at that every day or every other day as we move through the bag, because again, because it's going to change quite a bit more. So I'm going to get five subsamples into my pocket. able to see me much but I can guarantee I went through and I looked, worked in a cross pattern so I looked, wanted to represent the right side I wanted to represent the left side top and the bottom and then the middle and you can see I have about the same volume of forage that I had from the corn silage bunker and we're gonna use the same process in this case again we're gonna get dirty we're gonna get on the ground on the plastic and do a mixing quartering technique to get down to our sample size Haylage, there's more of a propensity for the forage to pack and stick together, so we want to make sure we break up chunks, especially when we don't have a defacer. Continue to focus on turning the sample over. Additional chunks, break those up. It's a little bit easier on a plastic surface, a little bit more slippery. Again, I'm going to go back to my feed scan confirmation code, code labeled bag. over the bucket to avoid losing any fines. 